Big Country Reeves needs to rebound from what was a terrible season and their needs outside shooting and a power forward. And so the Vancouver Grizzlies are on the clock and their time is up. Let's go to the commissioner. With the second pick in the 1999 NBA draft, the Vancouver Grizzlies select Steve Francis from the University of Maryland. Steve Francis has his grandmother, cousins, a couple of brothers, stepdad, all in attendance. The roar you heard there was the roar these folks wanted to give out on the first pick when Elton Brand was selected by the Chicago Bulls. But the roar will go up as he makes his way down the hallway and out into the main area here at the MCI Center. Local product out of Tacoma Park and the University of Maryland. talk about Steve Francis, second pick of the draft by the Vancouver Grizzlies, 6'2 and a half, 195, another early entry candidate, leaving college after his junior year. A couple of good years of junior college, though rather an uh, anonymous playing there, but at Maryland he was an immediate impact guy. Well, no question about it, and Steve he comes as close as any player that I've seen to being an Allen Iverson lookalike. I'm not saying he's as good as Allen, but I'm saying he has the same entertainment value. He works hard at both ends, and I I think he's a workaholic just as Alton Brand is off of the court. The question here would be, with Mike Bibby already a point guard in Vancouver, is he playing the two? Yeah, but I think what you're doing here, Ernie, is you're taking a guy, your style of play now might be a little bit more pressure in the backcourt, and you can get away with two small guards. And they had to pick a, an outstanding talent, a guy who could score. Now remember, when we're looking at this draft, we never, never say that a player will not be traded between now and 12 o'clock tonight. So you never know what's in the full package and what a club is trying to do. Because we know Vancouver, they have Cherokee Parks and Mike Smith at the power forward position, but they were also trying to get better at the four. And I hope we show this, you saw the story that we ran before the draft began about Steve Francis losing his mother as a teenager and surrounded by uh, family and friends tonight and overcoming that. And, and what a proud night it is for Steve Francis, who joins Craig Sager right now. Well, the green room wasn't big enough. The table certainly wasn't. Steve Francis, 300 of your extended family here tonight. The draft in your hometown. What has it been like these past couple of days? Uh, it's been real exciting for me. You know, leading up to the draft, I've always wanted to be a professional basketball player. And I'm just glad that I'm selected to, to be involved in the draft. Obviously, an honest and good faith passed on from your grandmother, Mabel Wilson, through your mother, Brenda, your late mother, on to you. You've been running this whole show all week. 28 grandchildren, one of your babies is going. You worry about him now or is it one less headache? What do you think? Miss him, no, he's never a headache. He's a, I'm going to miss him, but he's never gone from my heart. He might be in another state or town, but he's always with me. What kind of pressures have been on the family this week with the draft here in the town, you having to entertain everybody? It wasn't a, um, a negative pressure, it's been a positive pressure. And I'm happy for him, you know, and I wish him all the best and success. We talked to her earlier. She said, be careful, be yourself, and call home. Don't forget to call your grandmother now from Vancouver. I don't, I don't think that, you know, it would be hard for me to be myself. Uh, I just want to be happy, you know, where I'm playing and, and also, you know, do some of the things that I did in college that made me such a great basketball player, and I'm going to continuously do that. All right, we have two down, but a lot more picks to go. From a sold-out MCI Center and a big extended family of Steve Francis here, we'll continue our draft coverage from Washington.